everyone, I got a, a different type of video. This is not a what's new weekly review, nor is it new books, really, it, minus this issue right here. Uh, so I don't know what category to put this under. So anyway, just enjoy the video. Uh, this is Phantom Star Killer number one by Black Caravan. I have no idea what this book is about. Um, but uh, I went to Now or Never, and they were having a sell on their dollar comics. And I saw this on the stands, and I thought it was interesting. And apparently, this is a, a toy company or something like that that's, that's local or something along those lines. I don't know. I could be completely making this up. So this is based off of some figures or something like that. This is off of uh, Scout Comics, actually, now that I'm looking there. So I've enjoyed a few Scout Comics recently. So uh, I like the way the art looked. He kind of looks like Skeletor. It's kind of this throwback vibe to it. So why not? It's first issue. So... I went to Now or Never because they were having a dollar sale. They have $2 comic bins, but uh, for the month of March, they're going to be $1, uh, so 50% off. And so I decided to take a look at some things before I got to the dollar bins, or actually after I got to the dollar bins. They have a really cool section. It is for the first appearance section, and, and it's kind of a rad section. I just flipped through to see what was there. And a lot of times you end up just buying something based off of what you saw, you know, so it's kind of cool. So this is Kong the Untamed. This is a first by DC, uh, first appearance of Kong. It's probably not the Kong we think about, but hey, um, this was a bit of a reader's copy. It was only three bucks, so I said, why not? This is great. This was a great pickup. I was really happy about this. This is eight ball number 11, and this is the first appearance of Ghost World. And uh, I, I think this is a, a $30 book uh, or higher normally. There's a, a dent up here, but I'm kind of cool with it. It's fine. Uh, for 15 bucks to have this first appearance is, is pretty rad. So uh, I bought that right before checking out. So really happy I looked through there. And so these, I have a giant list of books that I'm looking for, my, my uh, want list. And so I was just going through their $2 bin, uh, $1 for the month, and I found some stuff. So I have Thor number three, so the Jane Foster run. TMNT number 90, I was happy to come across that, and it, it is, um, yep, okay, I was just making sure, I was like, I was pretty sure this is an Eastman variant, or the Eastman cover, so, and it is. So that's one more off the list. And I was, well, honestly, what I went there for specifically was Savage Dragon. And I found a couple of issues, 241, Captain Tootsie, <laughs> which is hilarious. And then the Ant and the God, which is 242. So it's appearance of, uh, I, I'd imagine this is uh, Hercules and then the Ant. And I think Eric Larson owns this character now. I think he purchased that character from the creator. Uh, Paper Girls number three. I actually own Paper Girls number three. I got super lucky on eBay and there was a run of like, I think one through eight. And I think I got it for $8 or something like that, maybe $10. And so it was already in there, but hey, Paper Girls number three for a buck, I'll take it. Number 14 of Paper Girls. Um, unfortunately, it had a ding or a bend in this bottom corner here, but I needed this for the run. So I picked that up. They didn't have any other issues, unfortunately. Uh, Warren Ellis's Black Summer. This is by Avatar. This was the first issue, and I believe I have issue zero. This is, yeah, issue zero. The art looked good, and it's by Warren Ellis, so why not? Give it a try for a buck. And then Terry Moore, Five Years. I've never heard of this series, uh, and, uh, you know, I like Terry Moore. So for a dollar, I grabbed issues one, two... Three, oh, I guess I only had the first three. So I grabbed the first three there for a buck each. Disaster Inc. This is by Aftershock Comics uh, from Joe Harris and Sebastian Perez. That is issue, issue one. This is issue two. It's kind of nice uh, to see those in there because then I get to try new stuff out. I like trying out uh, third-party comics anyway, so... Uh, I'm glad I, I, I popped in there. Uh, issue one of Sons of the Devil. I have a friend that said this series was good, so I'm looking forward to this. Brian Bucciolato and Tony Infante do that. 
Thar looks really good in it. Uh, Southern Cross, number one. Um, and I've heard that title name. So, um, you know, if it's good, it's good. And Pretty Deadly. I actually started a run of this, and I found them at Now or Never. They had some dollar bins last year. And so I started my run there, and I think I was able to finish it because this is issue number one. And I think this was one of the ones I was missing. I think I have two through uh, five or something like that, four. I'm not sure what it went up to. This is Pretty Deadly number one, The Rat. Pretty Deadly, The Rat's number one, I should say. Like that. Issue two. And issue three. And uh, Phonogram is a title. Uh, Phonogram, The Immaterial Girl. This is a title I've heard of on iFanboy, and they've really enjoyed it. So to see this series there, uh, I had to grab it. So they actually had issues one, two, three, and six. So I am missing four and five, and then I'll have the complete set of that. And I believe this is the second series. I think the first one's just Phonogram. I could be wrong. And I think the Immaterial Girl is the second series. So uh, a lot of good pickups. And I think I ended up spending about, well, I got $23 books. And then, uh, you know, the 8-Ball number 11, and then uh, the Kong book. So uh, a pretty good amount of books for a very little amount of money so i was really happy about that so 23 23 dollar bin books uh they mostly number ones and some run fillers so really happy with these pickups glad i stopped in so if you're in the southern california area and you watch this video before the end of march go give them a look they're in downtown san diego uh really cool shop really cool owner and uh yeah worth checking out all right, thanks everyone for watching this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Catchphrase.